two years out of jail on bond will charge with murder. On Monday, Hannah Payne's trial is scheduled to begin. Hardworking man, a good grandfather, a good husband. Christine Herring Just last spoke with 11 Alive weeks after the death of her husband, 64-year-old Kenneth Herring. Police say Herring was involved in a hit and run after running a red light and hitting a semi truck on Clark Howell Parkway at I-85, but no one was injured. A short time later, he drove off. According to police, Payne witnessed the crash, called 911, and forced Herring to stop boxing him in about a mile away. Herring's wife says he was trying to get to a hospital. Because I know he was having a diabetic episode because he don't just run off the scene. I knew he was trying to get to the hospital. During a preliminary hearing, a detective testified a medic at the scene believed Herring was having a diabetic attack. He was uh, disoriented. He was asking what happened, who hit me. The detective says Payne ignored a 911 dispatcher's order to stay back. And okay. Um, before I get into this, um, I want to put a disclaimer out there to let people of other ethnicities that's not black to let them know I, I mean nothing, no harm. So any of my followers that's Caucasian, Mexican, um, Latino to be politically correct, Hispanic, Mm. Indian um, and many more of the races um, African you know people that's not black Americans I want to say I apologize for this rant I'm about to go on right here it's Charleston Black Hassan Ramble Willie C Stephen Eddy Streets um, about the about the um about to do a calm, silent rant about this brazen attack on this black man where this this entitlement of this Karen just got her she just got a little carried away. And her getting the, her getting carried away got him carried away and basically got her life carried away through the court system. Um this this black man accidentally hit somebody he was a diabetic so he was having an attack because he panicked he tried to flee the scene to go to the hospital he was on his way to the hospital nobody was hurt on the scene the semi truck he hit nobody was hurt his car had more damage to it um a caucasian lady cornered him and tried to make a citizen's arrest he didn't even really know who she was and um she tried to detain him and she ended up killing him. She ended up killing him. Um, you know, another accident. Another accident that happened. You know. Uh, oops. A black man. Oops. We're sorry. Uh, but, you know, we got getaway free cars for killing black people. So I can afford to experiment. And I can afford to try to kill this black person. Or, no, kill this black person. Because this is America and we're covered. You know, we're covered. She shot her because we watched Officer Richard's body cam. And when he asked, who shot Mr. Harry? She said, I did. And you don't get the death penalty for committing a traffic infraction. And you know how much entitlement you have to have to chase somebody down, detain them, jump out your car and run toward a stranger. He didn't know her. He didn't know why she was approaching his car and demand that they do anything. He didn't have to listen to her. He didn't have to do anything she said. As he continued to ask her, who are you? Who are you? What? What? And how do we know so <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all a story I mean I have a million stories like this I don't there, there's not enough um, I don't have enough uh, computer space phone space to even tell y'all all the caring stories I have I'm gonna tell y'all one crazy ass story where I was like what the fuck I remember one time I was speeding on the freeway right all right I was speeding on the freeway, right? 
And not just speeding like a regular person speed, you know. I live in Texas. In Texas, everybody think they're Dale Earnhardt. Everybody think they, you know what I'm saying? Everybody think they uh, Andretti out here. It's just people. So I'm I'm speeding. I go I go park my car. I go I go to my apartment, right? So when I go to leave, it's a car like in the in the part where I leave. And it's a Caucasian guy, and he like you can't go anywhere. I, I'm holding you here for you were speeding on the freeway. I was like, and I had just moved to Texas from California, so I was like. What the hell? What is this? He was like, he was literally like, like he had got out of his car and he had parked his car kind of like boxed in to where he was. Other people couldn't even get in the house. Then other people couldn't even get in the apartment because he was there doing me like this. Like I would try to go around him. He would try to use his body to get to like, 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 you know, he had his car parked over here, but he was really on the phone calling. Like this fool tried to make a citizen arrest for me speeding on the freeway. That's a different kind of entitlement. Like that, I mean, I know entitlement is, but that's a that's like. So what I did was, I've been boxed in before on some funk shit, on some street shit. So I know it's like I'm not gonna hit you. I'm gonna just get my car right kind of by you, and then just zip through there real quick. But I gotta make you feel like it's a possibility that I can hit you, so you can get scared to get out of my way. But if I do the little vroom vroom, you're gonna be there every time. So I had to. Pull a, I had to pull a Barry Sanders with my car. But I'm just like, look at that's is that that's crazy. This dude tried to make a citizen's arrest for me speeding on the freeway. I remember one time now I, I anyway. I'm just glad that this happened because you best believe the people that's caught up in being racist. And we just got to be honest, people are really into this. This is really dear to people. Racist people, they're really into this stuff. They really, really want to get us out. They really want to give us a hard time. They really want to give black men a hard time in America. It's just, hey, it is what it is. I already know it. We all, everybody knows it. I'm just so glad she got life. And I'm glad the dude that killed George Floyd got life. Because y'all have, I, like, I think, I think uh, the others, they start realizing, oh, we can't keep, okay, like, no, it's not the 60s. Like, and people today are a little less heady to where it's, oh, we can kill a black person. Like, okay, we can kill a black person. Like, I remember one time, uh, these people tried to terrorize this this black dude that was with this white girl. They chased him down the street, everything, tried to, tried to just, just mad at him in this racist hick town. And he ended up killing one of them and ended up getting, uh, some some prison time. There was a little linear because it was like I guess self defense or something. But they just seen them and Bob like, listen, um, it's a different kind of black person out here these days. Um, you know, you might get the one the the the, the compliant ones that's gonna that's gonna put their head down and and like go quietly, and then you might get the ones that don't even know what's going on. Like they was born in like. 2000 they don't even know that y'all feel like y'all had a right to just do stuff to us they just like what's going on? like no i have white friends like they don't even do this. what's going on like there's some black people who not going for it because they don't not understand like that one like that one uh police officer that got killed in florida trying to stop black dude was sitting in front of his house chilling he pulled up on him like what are you doing here you know black dude don't know no better black dude like 18 he just seen him he, he just know that 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 Police be killing black people, so he panicked and killed them. Like, hey, bro, I don't, I don't got time to die here just because you. Bother. I told you, I'm going. He told the, he told the, 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 the defense, or whoever he's supposed to talk to about what happened. I can't even go in. I can't remember. But he was like, I just figured since I told this guy I was in front of my house, I showed him my ID that I was in front of my house. I'm just sitting in my car in front of my house, and he still was bothering me. I think the George Floyd stuff had just happened. He was like, hey, I, I just shot him because I didn't. I'm like, hey, I'm. You got to be fit to do something to me because I just told you that I'm in front of my house. You see on my ID that I'm in front of my house and you're still trying to detain me. I thought he was going to kill me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, I'm just really glad that Hannah Payne got the time she got because if she wouldn't have, it would have been even worse. It would have been, it would have been even worse. It would have been more black men getting killed. It would have been more, it would have just, it, and you know, this might not, this is not going to bring it to a halt. But you best believe they kind of like, damn, okay, we can't, ah, we can't, we can't, damn, okay, we can't kill him. 
So we got to do something. Let's just let's call the police. Hopefully we call the police. The police will come and kill him. I remember one time. <laughs> this lady cut me off and almost killed me. I mean, literally almost killed me. Almost like it was like a crazy accident. She wasn't even paying attention. She was on her phone. Almost killed me. So I followed her. I, hey, I'll be honest. I followed her because she, because soon as she almost did it, she just pulled into a parking garage. I pulled up behind her, and I was like, "Ma'am, you almost what's going?" She, you know, what, you know what she said to me, <laughs> and that's what I was just like, "Man, this is crazy." She said, "I'll call the police, and you know what they'll do to you." That's what the lady told me. She said, yeah, yeah, uh, "So after you did," she said, "I'll call the police. I'm on the phone already right now. I'll call the police, and you know when they get here what they'll do to you." 